This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with another PowerPoint tip to help you make happy hour. How to create text shortcuts to your frequently used symbols. And here in PowerPoint, I have a layout highlighting some year-on-year -year operating statistics, and on the far right, I want to include arrow symbols, like I've already started at the bottom, indicating whether the numbers are up or down. And normally when you're inserting your symbols from scratch, it looks like this. I'll select a rectangle, hit F2, on my keyboard, I'll hit Alt and U to open the Insert Symbols dialog box. You then need to find your symbol, which can be annoying. My downward facing arrow happens to be in my recently used symbols. I'll select Insert, select Close. It's inserted and I'll hit Escape twice so that nothing is selected. And although this works, if you use a symbol like this a lot, an even faster method is to create a text shortcut to it. For example, I've set this up so that if I select a rectangle and type D arrow and hit spacebar, a downward facing arrow is immediately inserted into my layout. This is what I mean by a text shortcut to a symbol. And what I want to do is create a similar text shortcut for the upward facing arrow to quickly finish off this layout. And to do that, first I need to insert the symbol that I want to create a text shortcut to. So I'll select my rectangle, hit F2, Alt and U to open the symbols dialog box. I'll find my symbol. In this case, I'm gonna create one to an upward facing arrow. Click insert and then click close. With the symbol inserted, I'll use my keyboard to select it. Hit control C to copy. With my mouse, I'll then navigate to the file menu. I'll select options down below. I'll then select proofing. And finally, I'll select autocorrect options to open the autocorrect dialog box. This is where you wanna create your text shortcuts. Now to create a good text shortcut, you want to pick something that's both unique and easy to remember. As I'm creating a shortcut to the upward facing arrow symbol, I'll just type U arrow and then replace with, I'll just hit control V to paste in my upward facing arrow symbol. I'll select add, click OK, click OK, and I'm back in the normal view of my deck. With the shortcut created, I can now simply select a rectangle, type U arrow, hit spacebar, and the upward facing arrow is immediately inserted into my layout. The beauty of it is, once you set text shortcuts up like this, you can use them until the cows come home. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.